Hey there, Alan Matthews here. In this video, I'm gonna give you a way, a very fun and easy way, to play more fluidly, more spontaneously, more expressively, and just enjoy the act and the feeling of playing ever so much more. But first, let me tell you about classicalguitarshed.com. If you haven't been to classicalguitarshed.com, please do at your leisure. You'll find all kind of articles and tutorials, big tutorials, small tutorials, on all things classical guitar, playing beautifully, phrasing, expression, technique, speed, um, plus articles on the things surrounding like making more time for classical guitar, things like this. So head on over to classicalguitarshed.com, you'll find all kind of good stuff uh, and resources over there. So one of the goals that we all have as classical guitarists is to play fluidly and expressively and spontaneously and easily and for it to feel good and just to go brrr, and it just all comes out beautifully. But then we have the difficulty of actually playing this thing, which is really hard. And it's we lock down while we're playing because we're hugging this thing. Um, it's not like a piano that you can keep your arms free and things like that, but it's we're actually locked onto this thing. So oftentimes it gets really hard. And classical guitar music is hard. This is one of the hardest instruments there is. To begin with is, you know, I'd, I'd be remiss of me not to say, learn good technique. And you can find a lot over at Classical Guitar Shed on that. But learn good technique and that will give you the foundation to be able to, to do this better and, and you won't have the normal traps that people fall into. So that said, one of the things, assuming that you are okay with what your hands are doing, one of the things that we can do is we can just pretend things are easy. And whenever I say this, people typically roll their eyes and say, well, whatever. And, and, but what, what pretending does is it allows you to play and it just takes the pressure off. If you just imagine that things were absolutely easy, what would you do? Ah, oh, your shoulders would drop, your muscles would ease up, you'd let go of your hands. You just, it's okay. If you were just sitting here and I said, let's just talk, then you'd relax and your body would be completely different than it is whenever you're saying, okay, now I'm gonna play this box chacon and it's like this hard thing. What we wanna do then is pretend like what we're doing is every bit as easy as just hanging out and having a cup of tea with a friend. We're just gonna, we're just hanging out. It's a Sunday morning and we're just gonna sit here and talk, and it's completely easy. And so you can do that, and then from there, then play from that space. And even if, here's the ticket, because you're playing in this way, and the music you're playing is hard, it's not gonna sound good. It doesn't have to sound good, that's not the point. The point is to pretend and give yourself the experience of ease and fluidity in your body while you're playing, regardless of what it sounds like. The sound will catch up. And you can't do this all the time. I mean, you have to actually do your practice, but as a practice technique with a piece, just pretend like it's easy. Let go of your hands, let go of all the focus and everything, and just play the music. And if you hit some clunker notes, it's okay. It doesn't really matter, that's not the point. If you, are, if you play wrong rhythms, if you don't play the right fingering, who cares, that's not the point. The point is just to have this experience in your body of notes going by and it being easy coming out. One of the things you'll notice when you do this is that you'll notice where you have confusion in your music. So if you're playing this particular tune, whatever it is that you're playing, and all of a sudden you play a wrong note, or there's this fuzzy spot in your memory, then a point of confusion, you'll notice that and you'll automatically start to tense up and notice it. But if you're at a complete state of ease to begin with, then you'll notice it that much more. Whereas normally, you might not realize that you had a point of confusion at that place. You might think that you knew that spot. But then once you actually release everything and just roll through it, as if you don't have a care in the world, then you might notice where there is confusion. And so then you're basically lowering the threshold to tension and notice where you tense up. And that's really valuable as well because then in your practice you can say, I need to practice that spot more. Or you can say, at that spot, I need to release my leg. I have this, this tendency right there that I arch my back or I tense up my thigh right there at that particular spot in the music. You can catch that. Lastly, this is wonderful to do away from the guitar so that you can practice. I love off, gu off guitar exercises, things you can do during the day to improve your guitar playing so that you increase your practice time without the actual instrument. You can do this throughout the day. So if you're doing something, if you're sitting at your desk at work or if you're you know, going for a walk, just all of a sudden, I think of it as falling up. Ah, you just kind of release yourself and just let go of all your muscles. I mean, don't fall on the ground, but just release everything and pretend like everything you're doing is even easier than it is. 
as if you were in zero, zero gravity. And all of a sudden you just go, poof, ah, oh, you just let go of everything. And you can do this anywhere. You can do it sitting right, right now as you're watching this. You can sit in front of your computer and just be like, ah, oh, things are easier than I'm making them. Pretend that they're easy and do them differently, brushing your teeth. So there's some tips for you. Pretend things are easy and then pretend like you're not pretending. That's the real ticket. All right, take care, have fun. Hey, would you like to play more cleanly with more speed and precision, with more beautiful phrasing, and know that you're actually coming forward and progressing in a logical way on your guitar? Well, if so, you might want to check out The Woodshed. The Woodshed is a full practice solution. You'll find a massive library of play-along practice videos. You get a clear step-by-step -step progression there's a massive practice library there with videos that you actually play along with. So practice along videos, training your different areas of your technique so that you know that that's solid. You get all the courses on Classical Guitar Shed, free webcam check-ins and video reviews so that you always know that you're on track with personalized one-on-one -on -one feedback. And most of all, you get the peace of mind knowing that you are on a specific track that leads from here to there. If this sounds interesting to you, then you can find more information following the link in the description or you can go to classicalguitarshed.com, click on the membership button right in the center of the menu and you'll learn all about it. Take care.